600, 700 have inflated and increased to 2,000 something. A, co a custard of rice that we do buy, 2,000, 3,000, is about seven to 8,000 Naira. And I came to my community, my father's town, and find out that my mothers, most of them, cannot even afford money or do these things. So I said, let me come to see my people, my father, mostly the widows, the old mothers, and the fathers of my community, all to see I can be of assistance to them. So what you're seeing is a little talking from me. And you can see all of them are happy. All the mothers that cannot even come outside, they came out with walking stick just to receive this. And after now, the next Saturday, I'm coming out with my medical team to come and check their BP, to check their blood pressure and the sugar the content and malaria to see how they can give them drugs so that they can be strong to go to their farms. Now, governments at all levels have been called upon to intensify efforts in elevating economic hardship of Nigerian workers amidst the present economic situation in the country. The National President of the Federation of Workers' Cooperative Societies, Abel Adamu, stated at the 2024 Cooperative Society Summit held in Kaduna. He explained that the current economic reality of the country has increased the burden on most families of Nigerian workers and also called on Kaduna State Government to provide grants and loans to workers at a reduced interest rate to cushion effect of the economic hardship. We want to bring all the cooperative workers, artisans together to see where we can be of help. A lot of them are into service, some of them don't have houses, but where they saved for the rainy day. Let me tell you, they will build houses before their retirement period. The necessity of the movement nowadays, they need cars, they need machines, the small workers need machines. So all these things, until when you belong to this cooperative society, because before you get all this, I'm pleading with the government to consider the workers. The hardship is so painful, so hard. The minimum wage now, it's nothing to write home about when you compare a bag of rice that is being sold at the rate of 80,000. So when you all come together, you pull in your resources, your emotional intelligence, your physical ability. You make things work, you make things grow, you move from point A to point B. Encouraging them to join this federation because uh, we are seeing in the foreseeable future that there's a drive this uh, federation can stand in for them as an umbrella body to the, for, sh for them to pursue uh, better, uh, better standing as cooperative society. Accounts should be tax free because already you've been tasked. So why should you be taxed again for that issue? So there are a lot of things whereby this federation as an umbrella body could come in uh, the primary, uh, to cover for the primary uh, cooperative societies that are registered under them. Some of the members who participated on the summit said it's apt and timely, saying the society has helped them to uh, secure loans to improve their sources of uh, leave livelihood as workers. The salary is no longer enough. The only thing you go back to that will be of a kind of aid to the family economy is the cooperative society. So I think the summit is coming at the right time. I bought my vehicle as taking loan from the cooperative society. So I make a lot of impact. Even during my wedding, I think I took loan there. And of course, I use it for the wedding. Yes, um, judging from the current economic situation, the cooperative has really made a very good impact on the life of every Nigerian benefiting from it. Um, the cooperative is the easiest and safest means of borrowing money due to the fact that their interest rate rates are always very low. They are easily assessed and um, um, the deductions are always very straightforward and very effective. So I think currently the cooperative is one of the best means of assessing loan or getting money for your business. One of the important things I've learned is that as a mother body, the cooperative society should be in a safer hands and um, fraud and other mischievous elements should be fished out if caught in the act of any um, act. Now the All Progressives Congress APC National State has accused the Ademola Delic administration of promoting a crisis and tinkering with the choices of legally installed monarchs in uh, Ere and uh, Ibadju towns. 
The party claims that the appointment of both monarchs are where according to the tradition and custom of the two communities. And the party's chairman, Tajuddin Lawal, has raised this appointment also state with its advanced education level could be experienced in such a situation. The quest and the use of uh, urchins and its impulses as one day warrant uh, chiefs and the respect of the people who did not have an input in this illegal reselection. Now, the Minister of Works, Dave Umay, has uh, threatened to terminate the Benin Sapele and Oluwe uh, Road reconstruction if Levant Construction Company fails to comply with the work's scope and specification. My order the Ministry's supervision and uh, supervising engineers to issue a warning letter to the contractors and after 14 days, it would personally terminate the job if it failed to do the right job. Now, I criticized contractors for playing politics with Nigerians and warned that it would not tolerate such behavior on this watch. My continues his inspection of the Benin, Epuma, Auchi and Abuja Expressway. Still on Plus TV News now, Sadiq Abbas and Niger are uh, a Niger uh, Tafida, a uh, House of Representatives member for Jalingo Euro Zing Federal Constituency in Taraba State, has called for the immediate repair of the deteriorating Jalingo Newman Road in the northeast. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.